Keeper Keith and a raccoon and me in a Santa suit. Mm -hmm. Well, this is Santa's cloak. Yes. Santa could not be here. Yes, he's But he here. sends his, uh, his greetings for mm -hmm. Christmas in July at Papanak Park Zoo. Correct. We did, we've been doing it uh, for quite a few years, and we raise right. many. Uh, if you bring an unwrapped uh, toy or a slightly used snowsuit, we let the child in free. Um, and we had uh, last year uh, almost uh, 2,000 items that were donated then to uh, Children's Aid. No kidding. So that's You do this why every year, right? We do it every year, and that's why he sent the cloak for you, because that's he awesome. couldn't be here. Uh, but yeah, and he, but he will be there again uh, this year. Well, Santa never misses. Yeah, he, yep. And then <clears> this little one. Who's, how old is this guy? This one's only a couple of months old, but we get hundreds of calls. Now, this one was born at our place, but we get hundreds of calls of people who think they may be doing the right thing, they take the little babies and then they find by about this age or a little just a little older they start nipping and biting and then they don't know what to do with them really and the problem is yeah. they're wild animals <laughs> yeah exactly and the problem is is then they don't know what to do with them but they've over socialized them so they can't now now you uh, can't get rid of them you put them you release them back and by law if you find it somewhere yeah. it has to under rehab laws it has to go back within one kilometer of where it was found. Of where it was found, yeah. But people find them, then they dump them off in a forest, and the next thing you know, it ends up as somebody else's yeah, problem. Yeah. Now, I understand. I mean, they're cute, and you, you want to do your best for the animals and all that. It's mm -hmm. just not a good idea no. to take in wild animals, especially things like raccoons, which can become very attached to your home. Yes, and uh, right? yeah, they're scavengers. They And we all know they're like the monkeys of North America. They can open up a garbage can or a cooler and get right in. Um, and the more they get used to people, it becomes a bigger problem because then they are they are in your garbage cans. Yes. Uh, you know, we find some people love raccoons, some people hate raccoons because they've already lost the cottage well, to it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and there's a reason there they've got that thing uh, like a bandana across their <laughs> eyes because they're bandits. Yep. They're, I mean, they're nice little animals and all, but you don't want them around your home. And once, like you say, once you open up that opportunity, it's tough to get them out. Correct, and the other problem is, is that people don't realize, they have a serrated teeth, so their teeth are more like two saw blades. So when they would bite you, as they get older, uh, you don't go for stitches, you actually have to have plastic surgery, because it's not a, a clean cut. And they will bite you. Oh, they do, they do. Uh, as they get older, they start, and we've seen it a hundred times over. We get calls from the ministry who's walked into someone's home and finds a raccoon, and the reason they got called is because the person no longer knew what to do with, with it. Right. And, and was scared, they can't go anywhere with it, so the ministry yeah. then sometimes will call us and ask us if we can help find yeah. them a home. Um, these are, yours are more domesticated because you, you keep them there. That's right. right, and so these guys were born with us, but we know in another couple of weeks, we won't handle this little guy. Right, right. We won't, he'll be off and doing his own little thing in his enclosure, no so kidding. we won't handle him. Not at all. Well, Listen, uh, you got more than raccoons out there. Oh yeah, we, what, uh, the, what's new, the big attraction this year? This year we brought in some African wild dogs, which are uh, kind of look a little bit like a hyena, but they're oranges and blacks and white. They're a beautiful looking creature. Um, we have a new herd of red deer out there as well. Um, we've had baby gibbons born again, which is the, the uh, smallest of the great apes. Yeah. Uh, we've had baby baboons. Uh, we the still, gibbons are cool. Oh yeah. They and fly they, around. They right? fly, they do. Um, so we've had a lot of babies born and we had some baby black and white rough lemurs born. So um, quite, quite a few uh, this year born. Um, but our big thing um, is this year, one of the cool things that people, most people in the Ottawa area have never seen is an African wild dog live. And, really? And they're, I've um, never seen one. They're beautiful. The male and female stay right together. They're different than a wolf. You know, they're always, if she goes lays in the shade, he lays in the shade. She moves out into the open, he moves out in the That's open. That's because he's listening to what his wife is saying. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. She eats first and then he eats. So they're very, uh, a beautiful, big domed eared animal. Cool. Um, When's Christmas in July? When when should people come? It's uh, July 25th. Right. And uh, the gates open at 10. Santa's there from 11 till 4. And uh, so, but but from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. We're receiving um, uh, this, you know, gifts for uh, other children. So, right. like I said, slightly slightly used uh, snowsuits. Yep. Uh, unwrapped toys. Bring a new one if you can. Yep. The new and, stuff is good. And uh, an interesting story. One of my employees that works for me. Uh, he's in his 20s now. We started this so long ago. Um, he was in Children's Aid, 
and some he of his toys. He was a recipient? Of some of the toys. No now, kidding. From where now he works, and he's quite committed to helping there do it as go. well. Listen, not hard to find Papanak Park Zoo either. No. Where are you, Keith? We are just east of Ottawa, right off of Highway 174, Highway it's 17. It's I've, easy. I've found it. Yeah. I'm sure you can. <laughs> it's Listen, easy. have a great time this week. No, thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Have a good day, sir. You too, buddy. You too.